Okay, so problem 1.3-11, the solid shaft and figure has a diameter that varies linearly from DO at X equals 0 to 2DO at X equals L. It's subjected to a torque T0 at X equals 0 and is attached to a rigid wall at X equals L. Uh, determining the expression of the maximum cross-section shear stress in the taped shaft tapered shaft as a function of the distance x from the left end determine the expression for the total angle of twist of the shaft uh, the shear modulus of elasticity is g okay so this is one of the questions where they give you all letters and almost no numbers um, you just have to sort of find an expression um, a lot of people get you know uh, they hate this question because it's like, why is there any number in this? But you, I mean, to me, it's actually kind of easier because you don't really have to calculate anything. You just uh, move numbers up and down and uh, know their units. Make sure when you put all of those you know, stuff together into an expression, the unit works out to be you know, KSI or PSI, whatever you're trying to, to find, right? Okay, so first, we know that... Um, well, there's going to be torsion. The torsion is going to affect the angle and everything, and uh, and when x increases, right? So we know that when x is zero, um, let's change the color. Yeah, when x is zero, um, d it's it's um it equals to zero uh, d o right, and when x is when x is equals to L, then it gives you 2DO. Okay. So it it does is it basically wants you to find um, so how does D of X changes uh, based on you know based on this, right? So excuse me. So I sort of just wrote X over L um, DO plus um, x minus l divided by l uh, do so I, I i just does that work let me have a look again so if x is zero this is zero um x is zero or l minus x sorry um l minus x right so x is zero l over l1 do if it's x equals l a 2, 2 do 0. Okay, perfect. And so this is sort of an expression that I developed while I was doing this homework. Um, I just, you know, we have those two boundary conditions between the two, and I'm just like writing an equation uh, for both. And then I, I started to, so you can simplify those, obviously, right? Um, there's do on both sides, so there's the do, and then there's the 2, wait, sorry. You can simplify it more than that. Um, it's the do, and then there's the x over l, right? So this would be two plus um, well one hold on. Yeah, a d a do. No, you can't take XL from there. Um, it would have been impossible. I think, wait, is it just DO? Uh, if we take D0 from both sides, it would be 2XL plus L minus XL. Um, that's going to give you, oh, okay, so plus 1 minus XL. Okay, DO. Uh, 2XL. 2x over l minus 1xl equals 1x, so it's do plus xl plus 1, uh, which also works, right? You plug 0 in, that's do. You plug l in, that's going to be 2do. So it works, and this is the expression that we developed for dx, right? How d changes as x increases from, from this side. Okay, so once we find out what that equation is, um, So what are we finding? A, determine an expression for the maximum cross-sectional shear stress in the tapered shaft as a function of the distance x from the left end. Okay, so one, the, well, the maximum shear stress, well, this is uh, t 
zero in this case, right, times r, which is the maximum distance, right, from the center of the thing to the side, and uh, divide back, divide this by j. Okay. All right. Well, uh, in this case, let's uh, let's go ahead and try to find this. So this, and then times r, which is you can write the expression, right? But this is basically r, and then what what j is is uh, pi over two. Oh, sorry. Huh. Oh, and divided by 2, obviously, because this is r. I mean, this is diameter we're looking for, r, so it's divided by 2. Um, and uh, so it's to the power of... Three? No. Come on. 32 uh, pi over... So this is do x over l plus 1 to the power of 4, right? Um, yeah, because it's over 2. Wait, so in the beginning it was pi over 2 times r to the power of 4. And so d, d over 2 to the power of 4, that is d4 over to the power of 16 times 2, yeah, that's equals 32. Okay, so once we have this expression, basically we're, I mean, we're, we're almost done, right? 32 over 2, so that's 16 on top, to times, um, let's see, if, oh my gosh, okay. So, a do, and then this is, pi times do um, to the power of 4 and then x over l plus 1 to the power of 4. Uh, this cancels, so it's 3. So 16 times to over pi do to the power of 3 um, x over l plus 1 to the power of 4, right? Um, I think uh, that's that's how you do this. Oh wait, sorry. There's another. Yeah, this one cancels as well. My bad. So this is also to the power of three. So it's 16 to pi over do three uh, three x plus l plus one. Uh, it's to the power of negative three. So this is an expression to uh, for the uh, uh, maximum shear stress. And next, we have to so determine the expression for the total angle of the twist of the shaft, um, the shear modulus of elasticity is g. Um, this is, you know, also pretty easy because we already know everything, right? Which, uh, in terms of an expression, so this is p times l over no. That is wrong. Forgot the equation. Let me have a look. Okay, so once we have a change in x, right, we have to use integration. So it's T O L over G and uh, times dx, right, or times J. And J involves the the distance. So it's one over. So yeah, over J. Um, but J, you can just you know, J is the one that needs to be integrated, right? Everything else is uh, is, is constant. So we can take TOL J out and then integrate, you know, one over J. So that is 32, right? We, we already got an expression here, right? We, this is the expression of J. So it'll be 32 times pi times uh, DO. So do to the power of four, and then x plus l plus one to the power of four. Okay, and this is we're integrating dx. Okay, so there are some constants as well. So we can say 32 to l over g pi and do to the power of four. All of these we don't we don't really need them, right? So zero 
L, and then one, so it's, it's uh, XL plus one to the power of negative four. Okay, so this is, you know, just, this is what calculus, uh, calc AB, right, AP calc AB stuff. Uh, so you treat X to the power of L plus one is U, right? So DU DX, so DU and DX is um, one over L, DX equals DU, right? So, so DU is DU times L equals DX. And here we already have a DX, so we write it and substitute that in there, just write this out. And then there's an L, so we're gonna write L out, I'm just, T O L square, right? G pi D O four, right? Because we have an L over here, that's a constant, we're gonna take it out and plug it over here. And uh, so now we're integrating from zero to L uh, U to the power of negative four, D U, right? Um, this is pretty easy, so it's just be U to the power of negative three over negative three, right? So this would be 32 P O L G pi D O square. Um, this would be, let's see, x over l plus 1 to the power of negative 3. Uh, this is negative 3, right? And this is, this is from 0 to l, right? Okay, so we can just, we can, we're going to calculate this here. Um, so L plus one, negative three minus one to the power of negative three. So what is this? This is two, two to the power of negative three, one over two minus one. Uh, what is that? That is one to the power of eight minus one. That is seven to the power of eight, negative seven. So this is 32 times TO times L square negative 3 g pi d to the power of 2 um, or do right so and this is negative 7 over 8 um, cross this so the negative cancels out so this divided by 4 equals 8 this divided by 4 is 2 so wait so this is four, this is one, right? You can divide it by eight in those. Four times eight is 32. So four times seven, 28, T-O-L square, and three times one, that's three, uh, times G pi D-O square. And that is how you do a representation. Sorry, why did it, I wrote two, four. I, I, yeah, I wrote four here, I don't know why, I just somehow got it wrong. So yeah, it's 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 uh, to the power of four, and uh, this should be the final expression for this uh, for this question. Okay, well, um, hopefully this was helpful. Um, good luck on your studies, and I'll see you in my future videos. Bye.